Thanks for tuning in to NTV at One. I'm Victoria Rubadiri. We begin with a story that is a result of social media outcry. Congolese star Kofi Olomide has been deported after an alleged assault incident at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport yesterday. Kofi was involved in an altercation with one of his female dancers. He appeared to kick her in a video that went viral yesterday. Well, the government, uh, in a statement released by the Gender Cabinet Secretary Sicily Karaoke, said it had permanently revoked his Kenyan visa as the government does not condone violence against women. Congolese artist Kofi Olomide may never set foot in the country again after an incident where he was caught on camera purportedly kicking one of his female dancers. A statement from the Gender Affairs Ministry says his Kenyan visa will be permanently revoked under Section 35.4 of the Kenyan Citizenship and Immigration Act as his actions were contrary to the law. Cabinet Secretary Cecily Karaoke says this action will be, quote, a lesson to him and others of his ill that gender-based violence will not be tolerated and those who engage in this archaic behavior will have to face the law regardless of the economic stature or social standing, unquote. The Congolese star was arrested last night after an interview on Citizen TV. This was after a video of him purportedly kicking one of his dancers at the JKIA went viral yesterday. Kofi later apologized to his fans and women over the matter. He says contrary to what it looked like, he was defending his dancers from a lady who was threatening them at the airport. He also reiterates his respect for people, especially women. He was expected to perform form at the bombers of Kenya. In 2012, he was convicted in the Democratic Republic of Congo, his home country, of assaulting his producer. The court gave him a three-month suspended prison sentence. 